Right then, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the Golf Magic YouTube channel. Now today, you join me at Manning's Heath Golf and Wine Estate for another one of our top five videos. And today, we're delving right into putters. Now putters come in all shapes and sizes and we could probably do about 500 different top fives if we based it on the design alone. What we're gonna do today is we're just gonna go straight up top five best putters of 2021. Now these could come in different shapes and sizes, but they're all gonna kind of be an all around good putter. And this was probably the hardest one I've ever had to do. Fairy Woods was a little bit easier, as obviously there's a little bit less to choose from, but top five putters, I've got so many options that this took me a long, long time to actually get that top five. And I'm still a little bit unsure about it, but number one, never be more certain. So let's jump right in to the top five best putters of 2021. Now at number five, we're gonna go for a little bit of a different one that you may not be expecting, but I've got in my hand the Bessonardi Queen Bee number six, a new addition to Bessonardi's collection for 2021. It's a refined version, so there was a Queen Bee before, but this one, a lot of improvement from design and feel. This putter, I've tried it out a lot actually, and this is the last putter I tried before I went to arm lock. And one thing I noticed is the feel is exceptional. If we were doing it based on just feel alone, the way the ball feels off the actual club face, this would probably be about number two. But there's a few negatives, which is why I've pushed it up to number five. But this putter, for me, the design in terms of the actual finish of it and the way it just looks at a dress, it's a very confident feeling putter because it's not a blade. You've still got a little bit of offset there, a little bit of a chunky feel to it. So it's not particularly that classical. But then you've got that modern finish and the modern feedback you get off it as well that really makes it rival pretty much any putter in 2021. The only negatives for this is it is a little bit expensive, as you could see earlier. It's a little bit at that top price bracket. Do I think it's worth it? Well, I'll get onto that in a little bit in terms of price. I think it's probably not just because I do think there are other putters cheaper that do perform better, but it's quite difficult because putters are always a bit more opinionated. Someone who's off 36 could take this and putt absolutely amazing. I putted okay, but I did prefer some other putters, which I'll get onto right now with number four. So number four is the Sick Pro C-Series putter in arm lock. Again, a bit of a surprising one, but one that I definitely think can improve your guys' game. I've tried this a lot. If you haven't seen our previous videos, I put this up against a traditional putter. I put this up against, well, I just reviewed it myself. And I've actually got this in the bag right now because I'm actually very fond of arm lock putting. So I'm basing this off the actual arm lock version and the actual club head itself. The club head isn't anything that special when you look at it. It's not like the better gnarly, let's say, in that you look at it and you're kind of blown away but there's a lot of technology that makes this perform very, very well. Better than any putter that I've tried, but I'm being neutral here and that's why it's not number one. It's got sick face technology and it definitely feels very strong off the club face. Not too soft, not too hard, kind of in the middle in that performance category. And I feel like a lot of players, a lot of amateur players could putt very, very well with this. The reason it's not higher, well, it's arm lock and it's a bit expensive. Arm lock, I know a lot of amateur golfers will probably probably shy away from it a little bit because you are probably quite worried that it could get banned, which is fair enough. I don't think it's gonna get banned anytime soon for a, a variety of reasons that I won't get into in this video. But with that, it's also a bit expensive as well. So that's probably why some amateur golfers haven't really got into this club yet. But a personal recommendation from me, if you buy this, you won't be disappointed because it definitely will improve your putting if it's something that you struggle with. That's number four and it is the only arm lock putter in this series. So don't worry, don't shy away just yet. We're gonna go back to the traditional putters with number three. So at number three, we have a new player in the game. It's the Odyssey 2 Ball 10 Triple Track Putter. Putter that we haven't fully reviewed on this channel, but I can guarantee you, this is easily one of the best putters of 2021. And here's why. There's a few things about the putt that I like, but this paired up with the Callaway Chrome Soft Golf Ball makes it more or less the perfect combination. You've got the alignment that you see down at address, and with that, coupled with the alignment from the triple track technology of the Callaway Golf Ball, it makes it very hard to put a putt offline because you've got those three lines, really, really prominent three lines on the golf club and on the golf ball as well. Odyssey, obviously, we could talk about them for hours. They are very, very good for providing a very soft feel. And this Odyssey putter, along with all the releases that Odyssey did for 2020 to 2021, absolutely spotless. I'm really impressed with the improvements they made, as well as they actually introduced some old putters, the Odyssey 2 ball, and they feel very, very good. And I feel like the price as well is pretty decent. So that's why it's coming at number three. Why is it not number two or number one? 
Well, this is where it's quite difficult. I feel like the other two putters are a bit more forgiving, let's say, although this one is perfect. It kind of feels like you do have to play the Callaway Chrome Soft for this one to be the best possible golf club. The other ones, you don't have to play any sort of specific golf ball. That's just my preference here. I think if I was using this club and I wasn't using the Callaway Chrome Soft, I feel like it would be a little bit wasted, let's say, because you've got that triple track technology there. Why would you not use it? You guys should. But that's why this is number three. Let's get on to number two. At number two, we have the TaylorMade Spider EX Putter, a new release for 2021 alongside the new Spider family, and it packs a punch. TaylorMade Spider range have some superb designs and some customization, and me and Andy, the head of content here at Golf Magic, were really fond of the way this looked at address and also the way it felt off the club face. I felt before that the TaylorMade Spider Putter range, maybe about three or four years ago, the inserts weren't great. They felt very hard, and I think TaylorMade worked very, very hard to actually make these a little bit better. And the new Spider EX Putter feels unbelievable. It feels kind of like a Scotty Cameron. I know, don't dislike the video, a lot of you Scotty Cameron enthusiasts probably shuddering at me saying this but it feels superb and I think it's so well weighted that although the alignment lines are three dots some people may not like it we felt that like it was very easy to get a putt online and it really was quite strong with those short putts so from around three to eight foot we felt pretty confident for them but not as confident as number one which I'll get onto right now so number one what could it be this decision was actually the easiest decision I've made in terms of our top five ratings this year. All the rest of them from two to five was very difficult, but this putter, as surprised as some of you may be, has already got very, very good reviews. And although it's not in my bag because it's not arm lock, it's the exact club I'd recommend to any amateur golfer. And it is this little one here. The new Cobra King Supernova with 3D technology in the face and also sick face DLT technology as well. This club, I've tried all the new Cobra Potters out, but this club is so well weighted, so unbelievably well weighted, that it feels extremely forgiving. Now, forgiving for a putter is quite a weird term to use because you're not going to shank it. But the way I mean that is it has such a high MOI that it's very difficult for this club to be delivered towards the ball at anything other than neutral. Even whatever your arc is, this club is definitely going to be right for your game and will improve it because whatever Cobra's done with this one, all of the ranges that they've done in their new putter release was great. But this Cobra King Supernova, it looks unbelievable. Kind of similar to begin with, with those kind of Odyssey white hot number seven. But then they've put their own twist to it and had that design that Cobra do ever so well with that sleek look, that black finish as well. And it's just such a pleasing club to look at. Some putter enthusiasts who really like that classical look, who like the Scotty cameras, let's say, may not like this, but for 2021, for the modern appeal, for the young golfer, this is the exact club. It's affordable, and for me, it ticks every single box. It's a very new release, so you guys may not be able to get your hands on it yet, but when it comes out, when it's available to you guys, try this out, and I just can't guarantee you, you won't be disappointed. It's very easy for me to talk to the camera and say some random waffle about some golf clubs, but it's very easy for me to talk to the camera, even easier when it's a golf club that I actually believe in. And this Cobra King Supernova is absolutely superb. From a technological point of view, from a design point of view, and from a golf geek's point of view, it's unreal. So, golf magic recommendation, try this club out if you can. That is it for the top five best putters of 2021. If you guys are a bit disappointed that we didn't do exact categories, top five bladed potters, top five mallet potters, don't worry, that's coming towards the end of the year. We want to wait for those categories to make sure every single release is out. So if anything comes out in the next four or five months, we can get it covered. But for now, I'm 100% sure that this club here won't change as the number one best putter of 2021. But let me know down in the comments what you think of our suggestions, because I don't think they're that controversial, but let me know if you've tried these putters out and what is your best putter of 2021 because I'm sure there'll be some different opinions. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. If you have, leave a like down below. If you guys are new to the Golf Magic YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button as well to keep up to date with all our videos like this. We've got plenty more to come and we'll keep you guys entertained for all of 2021. I'll see you guys in the next video.